Hi lovers, welcome to my channel. My name is Made for Love and welcome to the weekly karmic update. Um, just a short message for you guys before I start. It's so important right now that divine counterparts um, just stay focused on what they want to manifest. Um, the energies they want to manifest, the relationships that they want to manifest. Okay, because everything is so fluid right now and that's why my readings <laughs> um, are becoming so fluid at the moment because I really have to honor um, the energies of the time okay um, so every time we wobble maybe we get triggered by our counterpart we get triggered by something that we see we get triggered by something that we hear and uh, we get triggered by a reading or whatever and we go into a low vibration every time we do that and we manifest something different. We start to open a new timeline. So you have to just stay focused. Okay, you get triggered. Okay, all right. Well, what is this bringing up for me um, in terms of my healing? You deal with it, let it go, and focus, align um, to the timeline that you want to manifest. Okay, don't wobble and stay there because then different things start opening up for you. Okay, you have to focus on what you want to manifest. Um, and it's going to be extra hard to do that right now because... I mean, we've all been experiencing it up and down, ebb and flow. Oh my gosh. We're, we're just like a boat right now, but we have to put down that rudder. Okay. We have to put down that rudder and, you know, stabilize ourselves. Okay. So we have a uh, minimal wobbling as possible. All right. So anyway, so because the timelines are fluid right now, because the energies are fluid, uh, my readings are also going to be fluid and they're going to be, um, I'm just going to surrender. Before I would have led the reading in terms of um, the things that we want to explore, heart space, head space, what's happening. You know, I had my format. Okay, I'm throwing that out for now. And I'm just going to ask, you know, what the spirit wants us to know. In the extended readings, I might go um, offer something a little more fa formatted to cover some bases. But right now, um, for the public reads, I'm asking what the spirit wants us to know right now about this karmic connection. So I'm going to um, get three cards. Three major themes. What does spirit want us to know um, in this, with regard to this this karmic connection? What are the three themes? The three themes that spirit wants us to explore today. What do they want us to talk about? Um, underneath the deck, what do we have here? We have sadness. Now I'm noticing that it's it was in reverse, but I don't usually read reversals in this deck. But I am seeing um, somebody's in a low vibration. It's like the five of cups here. Um, and they're really in some really toxic energies. It looks like, you know, somebody, something or someone like wants to hold them down, wants to prevent them um, from stepping into their power here. The temptation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So let's see the themes. And I'm using this beautiful Fenestra tar um, Tarot. I've been watching it for some time and decided to get it for myself. Um, so we have patience and this has come out for DM before actually So we have patience here. Yeah, somebody's practicing patience, but I noticed another number five So, you know, you know what that is trial change tribulations This is a real challenges right now So we have patience um, We have take your mask off and it's a card number 11 so 11 is about balance. So it looks like um, somebody or people, they're unveiling themselves, okay? No more Mr. Nice Guy. No more Mr. Nice Girl. Everybody is seeing everybody clearly, okay? Um, somebody's hanging up their dancing shoes. Nobody's, people aren't dancing around the subjects anymore. Um, everybody right now, nobody's playing nice. Everybody has taken off their mask. They're seeing each other for who they really are. But somebody's practicing patience right now. Um, and let's get the last theme. Hey, little angel, come forward. I'll put that card there. Let's get the last one. And we have self-sabotage. So somebody is still sabotaging themselves and relationships. But, you know, um, spirit is coming to the rescue. Okay, um, you see your person sabotaging themselves with their own inner demons. So it could be their own toxic, their addictions, whatever it is, um, the insecurities. Um, they're sabotaging themselves with that. But spirit is coming in here 
with their with, with the wisdom the wisdom and insight and to save your person from their own inner demons and from sabotaging themselves um, once again so let's put a little angel here because your person needs a little more protection right now all right so let's explore these themes here what is this finish with that okay so um this and i usually leave these in um and I, they usually have abundance or creation cards um and it's in reverse so it looks like there's a lot of imbalance right now especially i'm getting in terms of the material world and that's been a consistent message that we have gotten for the karmic connection um <clears throat> there is some loss of material wealth some kind of loss of material possessions um right now some kind of financial hardship that has been um, a consistent theme all right so let's see what's going on let's let's explore these themes what does spirit want us to know so we have the ten of pentacles in reverse now the ten of pentacles is my divorce card the ten of pentacles is my breakup card and the ten of pentacles is my dysfunctional or karmic family card okay so your person might be exercising patience with some dysfunctional family members here but um all in all they're just tired of living a lie look we have the seven of swords in reverse they're tired of living a lie there's no more self-deception everybody's taking their mask off right now there's no more self-deception there's no more deception everybody's seeing each other clearly so spirit give us some information on this patience card why'd you give us that all right so we have here the six of swords we're gonna just pull three cards we have the strength card leo this is gemini libra aquarius energy here six of swords we have the strength card leo it's a beautiful deck um we have the high priestess in reverse that's scorpio pisces I also read it as the opposite polarity, Taurus and Virgo. And then we have the hangman in reverse, um, Pisces. So what I'm getting here, I'm getting here that either your person or both parties, they're just, they're just ready to leave this behind. They're ready to leave this relationship behind because they have been healing. It could be just one person, but it could be both of them. I'm, I just want you to bear that in mind. Okay. Um, people are stepping into their power and secrets. I'm getting secrets are being revealed. You see, your person has gotten all the wisdom, all the insight, um, all the enlightenment that they needed to get from this connection. And now it's just time um, to manifest new beginnings with this magician card. It's just time for action. Um, let's pull a card um, on this high priestess in reverse here. All right. So a secret about somebody being in love with someone else, it looks like. It's being revealed. Yeah. Um, this third party, it looks like this is a breakup. This is a breakup. And um, there was some secret revealed about somebody being in love with someone else. Um, and this is a breakup. We have the three of swords in reverse. So that's releasing a third party. And then we have the two of cups reverse. Um, that's another breakup. So a secret was being re was revealed. Somebody declared their love. I don't know. It could be the karmic made a confession about a lover because we channel that the karma got caught in the cookie jar last week i think it was last week right or maybe it was even this week so we got that so it could have been the karma made a declaration but this is a masculine energy coming out here so whatever this declaration was um it caused a breakup yeah this person took action and it's all the masculine energy it's all the masculine energy so it looks like um your dm your person um stood in their power and it looks like they're leaving this situation. Um, they, it looks like they made a full breast of it. Made some kind of confession of love here. Um, and they are leaving this third party behind. We have breakup, breakup. And the card on the bottom was about a breakup. So there's a breakup right now. But it, it looks like there's still a bit of things or loose ends that need to wrap up. Your person's exercising patience. So let's ask um, Spirit, why is your person... I'm exercising patience right now. Let's see. What's happening here? We have the Hierophant. So they could actually be married. There could be some kind of legal or some kind of contractual arrangements that need to be sorted out here. Um, 
and it looks like your person for the moment they can't move look we have the eight of wands in reverse so this could even relate to quarantine but it looks like there's some kind of contractual stuff um that's still outstanding and that's why they're feeling stuck look we have the eight of swords coming to um bolster this eight of wands in reverse your person can't move right now there's some kind of contractual arrangement that needs to be sorted out um let's whoa i didn't even ask the question tell us about these masks coming off <laughs> tell us about that spirit so we have here um nine of pentacles um somebody let somebody know that they just want to be single and free free as a bird just like this falcon here um somebody let somebody know that um they just want to be single right so somebody stop the the self the self-deception and the deception and told somebody that they want to be free they no, they no longer want to dance and play this game this masquerade they're tired of the masquerade that's what they said they're tired of the masquerade they just want to be single they just want to be free so it looks like truth was revealed here that's what i'm getting and with that truth being revealed here somebody manifested a new beginning in love look we have the ace of cups um and these two cards are cards of self-love so it looks like someone we don't know which person but we do think it's a masculine energy because we saw that king of cups and that king of wands told the other person they're ready for to be free um they're ready for new love and this has caused a lot of drama look the five of wands here right the masks are off people are out for blood people are out um to get their justice okay um and then it looks like um someone it looks like everyone here actually wants to be the victor everybody wants to win and they don't care if they have to climb upon the uh, the shoulders of the other person um to get that victory okay so it looks like it's every man for himself right now it's a battle for the top okay it's every man for himself right now but it looks like somebody declared that they want to be free they wanted to be free to love um, and this has caused a lot of drama um but we have self-sabotage so spirit tell us about that We have self-sabotage here. Okay, so we have this creation card. And again, this is another abundance card. Um, this is in reverse. We have an ace of swords in reverse. We have a two of swords in reverse. We have an ace of pentacles in reverse. And we have the moon and I'm going to leave it sideways. Okay. So it looks like we're getting confirmation of the messages here. I think one of a person's inner demons might be the material world. Their attachment to the material world. And they are lingering in this situation because of that. Because we have the Ace of Swords reversed that talks about instability financial instability and we have this creation card in reverse so because there's there's some kind of financial hardship that's happening right now or your person's so attached to the material world um they're still not um cutting this person out of their life they're exercising this patience it looks like they have some kind of plan up their sleeve to walk away with their just due um they, they've made up their mind they've made up their mind but they have not completely cut off this relationship they've not completely cut off this relationship and there's still things that are unsaid let me let me pull some cards on that let's see what this is all about spirit tell us about this moon what is this about we have a star card here okay i'm getting a weird message but let, let me pull another card so what i'm getting is now your person is doing some major healing and i do think that they've spoken a lot of their truth okay 
but they are resisting the complete transformation of this relationship and the complete transformation of themselves um, because of this financial bind um, that they are in. Now they feel very isolated and alone. Um, they know they want to be a f they want to be free from this drama, okay? But they're resisting this transformation and resisting um, a new beginning in love, or they're delaying it rather, and delaying this complete healing and their total wish fulfillment, um, because of their tie to the financial to the material world. So it looks like they're trying to stick it out and trying to see if they can make a turn around in their finances. And um, before they cut off this relationship completely, I think this karmic has some kind of monetary hold over your person. Either they've gotten some kind of job via the karmic or the karmic loaned them some kind of money for some kind of investment or there's some kind of financial tie here. Whatever it is, the karmic is holding it over this person's head, dangling, dangling it like a carrot on a string. So I do think truths have been spoken. But your person is still lingering in this and they're still sabotaging themselves because of their attachment to the material world. So they're sabotaging themselves still. So when they know they should just say, you know what, fuck it, done it, and just leave and just be the end of that, they're trying to practice patience because they want to walk away with something in their hand. That's what I'm getting, guys. That's what I'm getting. All right, let's get one final message. Is there anything else Spirit wants us to know um, before we go into the extended? Um, and in the extended, I'm going to take a look at um, your person's heart space, head space for the karmic, heart space for the karmic. Um, what's happening in the relationship? We're going to go to, into the Kipper cards because the Kipper cards are a little more clearer. Um, we're going to find out why they're still together, but I think it's that, finan that financial um, issue we're seeing here. And then um, what can we expect from this relationship by the end of the month? But I'm going to ask Spirit if there's anything else Spirit wants us to know. So your person, they're exercising patience. They're lingering in this situation because of their attachment to the material world. Their own inner demons have them trapped there. Okay. But the masks are off. Everybody knows where they stand. Okay. I want you guys to know that everybody knows where they stand right now. People have spoken their truth, but they're lingering in the situation here. They've not cut it off completely because of some kind of financial tie, some kind of legal matter. Okay. And that's why you're not getting that communication. That's why we have that ace of swords reversed. Um, they're not communicating with anybody right now. They're trying to sort this shit out. All right. Is there any last, um, uh, do I want to say last words? Um, <laughs> Spirit, is there anything else you'd like us to know? All right, so Spirit wants to tell us something um, about the karmic, okay? What a weird message I just got there. So we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. That's an Aries. We have the Empress in reverse. Um, this is a Taurus, a Libra. And then we have the Emperor in reverse. So this, is, this tells me... Um, that this could have been a married couple or some couple that is committed. Um, and it looks like both of them, two messages I'm getting with that. Both of them are vibrating in the same energy in terms of they're trying to manipulate each other. It's like they're fighting dirty. I'm also getting that this is a breakup. This is a dissolution of a marriage or some kind of firm commitment. I'm also getting here um, the karmic. It looks like there was some abuse of power or abuse of sexuality here. Let me pull a card. But they want to tell us something with the karmic here. This is all about the karmic. That's what I forgot to focus on. Um, spirit wants us to know something about the karmic. What spirit wants to know about the karmic is this. This karmic has a lot of self-esteem issues. Incredibly insecure. And this karmic does not take rejection, rejection well. That's what spirit wants to know with this four of cups clarifying this queen of wands reverse. And because of that, this karmic has always abused their authority in terms of their co controlling and very domineering, very codependent, clingy and manipulative, okay? And they've been abusing their power and they may have been abusing your person. But Spirit also wants you to know, for those that it resonates with, um, some of you may have been thinking that a karmic is pregnant. Spirit is saying this karmic is not pregnant, okay? 
And if this karmic is pregnant, it's not for your person. That message is coming through. It was the first, as soon as I saw that card reverse, I, that I got it. It was the first message and that's not usually the first message I get with the Empress in reverse. I always get distorted, feminine, clingy, codependent, manipulative. But as soon as that card hit the table and I'm getting true chills, this karmic ain't pregnant. And if this karmic is pregnant, it ain't for your person or it's a fake pregnancy, guys. Fake pregnancy. Okay? They also want you to know that this karmic very controlling. They're controlling everything. The communication, the finances, your person, everything. But as, you, as we say, people can only do what you allow. So this person has to stand in, your person has to stand in their power. But Spirit just wants you to know, this, uh, this is the force that your person is up against. There's nothing they won't do to win. Spirit wanted to know that. All right, so join me next time. We're going to go into the traditional format and see what other information we can get. If you can't join me there, please like, share, please subscribe to the channel. And if you can go a step further and click and interact, let's put interact with any of the ads that may have played during this reading. Um, that's beautiful energy exchange for me and for any any reader that you love to follow. Um, it's it's beautiful energy exchange um, for them and it keeps them um, bringing these readings for you free um, all the time. Okay. All right. So join me next time. We're going to go into the Kipper deck, which is usually quite clear with its messages. Okay. All right, guys. I'll see you in a moment. Bye.